Okay, so to start this one off, I should say a couple of things. First of all, when you play along with the recording, the recording is sharp. So it's in the key of C, uh, but you need to play, instead of playing directly above the fret, you need to play like halfway in between. It's approximate, you'll, you'll have to hear it and make the final adjustment with your ears and your hands, but uh, I promise if you try to play everything like you normally would, right over the frets, which would be a fifth fret for the C. Um, let's see, what would this, five, seven, nine, 10 for the F chord, and then 12 for the G chord. Um, you're gonna actually wanna play just a little bit in front of those frets um, to match the recording. Uh, and so if, if things look funny when I'm playing, that's why, because I'm just matching the recording. Things are sharp. Uh, second thing, this whole song, not the whole song, but all the dobro parts are built around one basic lick. And that lick is built around um, one chord, so we'll just do it on the uh, on the tenth fret for right now uh, to show you, which is or another way you could hear it is. So to play that with that cool harmony double stop sound, I'm using a little two finger pinch uh, that starts on the second string and the fourth string. So that's a B and a D string. And you can walk that down uh, two frets and then go back up two frets but then drop your 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 pit your grip down two fingers to your third and your fifth string so a lot of those sounds i'm getting are coming from those pinch grips that's what i call them as pinch grips because you're kind of pinching two strings um and so you're skipping a string in between so the first one starts on the on the second and the fourth strings. And then you jump down to the third and the fifth strings. Or you could play that lick without being harmonized and just play a single note. Something like that. So all the all the licks in the song are kind of built around that lick. Cool. So I'm gonna play it from jump forward to where the dobro comes in. All of this living that we got left to do, and if you go searching. is 
side and whisper sweet words in his ears about daydreams and roses and playthings and the sweetness of springtime and the sound of the So there's a couple other things in there uh, obviously when they kind of build up in that certain spot uh, uh, and he goes way up high and does that that's kind of a that's called a slant I'm moving from a straight bar to a, a angled bar and that's something you just got to play with I'm playing that's on just the top two strings and I'm going from the C chord way up here on the, that would be 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17th fret. And then moving the bar backwards and angling it so that I'm playing the uh, 14th fret on the top string and the 13th fret on the B string, the second string. And so, but I'm also adding a lot of vibrato the whole time. that helps kind of hide some imperfections in the pitch, you know, because it's kind of hard to get perfect a lot. There's a lot of room to go wrong there. And once again, it's a little sharp of the frets. You got to play. It's really up to your ear at that point to, to really know if you're getting it right uh, along with the recording or not. But uh, that's what's going on there. And uh, the end, he does this. Dee, 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 dee. Just uh, play with it. Yeah, I hope that helps, man.